Welcome back guys to day six of Vlogmas. Today I've gone all out. I am dressed as Santa. So today is a really fun vlog because it is Meg versus Hobbit or Meg versus horse. No, Hobbit versus horse. I can't get my words out. Basically, we're gonna be doing some challenges. I'm gonna be using jam for some of them and some of them are gonna be strictly just me and Hobbit. She's at the sidelines now guys, just watching, preparing for the challenges ahead. We've got some really fun ones. We've got high jump, we've got sack races, we've got jumping over a jump whilst holding a mince pie on a plate, which I am sure is near impossible. My pony of choice today is the lovely Jamelia. She's not been on Vlogmas much and the reason for that is it's actually, it's meant to be her winter break right now. Her break is starting tomorrow. She agreed to do this last bit of work for the year and as a treat i've decided to tart her up i've given her feet a little makeover she's got some shires poofies on if we uh, just cut back to some i made earlier you'll be able to see how we did it welcome back to the blue peter studio so today guys we have some poofies from shires equestrian these may be targeted at 10 year old children perfect for you <laughs> i'm going to be using them oh we should quickly instructions right clean hoof wool with cloth or something, remove backing and centre hoof feet to horse's foot, keeping top edges just below the hairline. Apply pressure, yada, yada, yada. Trim it if you need to. Satisfying. Oh! <laughs> okay. Oh, Jammy, you've got very hairy hoofies. Oh my word. Oh no. I'm not doing it high enough. Okay, right, we're learning, we're learning as we go, guys. Oh my god. Ah! Oh! <laughs> it's incredible! Oh no, I've not done it, stuck it that well. It's alright, okay. Right, one down. How many to go? <laughs> Three more to go. Amazing. Ooh. Mum, look how mint Ooh, these look. They are cool. <laughs> Come here, you little cough. Quality content that you know and love. She's like, for oh, God's sake, they'd have never done this to me in Ireland. <laughs> oh, I've really messed that up a bit. Oh, wow. Meg, your brushing is just impossible. I know, thank you. Look at that. And that there. Look at all of that. That's the worst bit. <laughs> I'm determined to get my best hoofy stick yet. Oh, 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 bedding. Oh no! Okay, um, in doing that, I've got my worst. Well done, Meg. <laughs> you jinxed it. Oh, oh no. Well, only one left to perfect this. I, might, I think her foot would be better picked up. Yeah. I'm going to peel it off. Oh, it's, it's going over the fur here. Where's Melody going? Get higher, get as high as you can. Yeah, but then the furzies. It's not straight. <laughs> oh God. Hey, that's not bad. I think that might be my best yet, actually. That might be, which is slightly worrying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's definitely my worst. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're gonna trim these bad boys up and we'll see you back in the arena. You're so pretty. You've got some off cuts. So Jamie's having a bit of decoration. You look perfect! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tammy! Oh, I feel like that will ruin it. I put it on her nose, put it on a little nozzle. Schnauty! Is this a little horse of yours? I don't know. Nah, she loves it. <laughs> oh, her face! <laughs> <laughs> the 
she's like, you're taking the mick out of me. <laughs> we love you, Jam. Okay, so that is how the hoofies were applied. Now, admittedly, I've not done the best job and she has then just walked through a puddle and walked onto the sand and they've kind of peeled up a little bit. So I don't know how long they're gonna last, but an alternative for the hoofies is of course, just to stick the offcuts onto your horse's head. I don't know if I'd recommend that or not, but that's what we've done. Prizes for today. You may have noticed this is a new jacket I'm wearing. Very nice, that's uh, got some nice pockets here. Very snazzy, nice and fitted, nice and warm. So this is the very generous prize from Muddy Mare Clothing. This is the raffle prize for today, guys. So be sure to enter that. You can go over to my Instagram, there's a raffle post. As I've been over in other vlogs, that's gonna be drawn on my Instagram at some point in the evening after the vlog has been posted. So if you're watching this now and you think, damn, I would pull off that jacket a lot better than Meg, head over to my Instagram, enter it and yeah. Are you gonna remember it this Might time? Uh, I don't know, that reminds me I do need to, oh, what you found? <laughs> do you need to do the raffle draw for yesterday's oh can i remember if it's worldwide or not no i can't so this giveaway is whatever it says on the screen right now might be uk might be worldwide who knows tell you what is worldwide is the main giveaway prize and oh what's this in my pile of presents it is of course a gallop and glory bespoke box why don't you come on in georgie so Gallop and Glory have been my amazing sponsor for about a year now. I first started working with them last Vlogmas. Susie got in contact with me. She said, Meg, I'm the, your biggest fan. Do you remember that, Susie? I know you'll be watching this. So we did Vlogmas together last year. And then we actually decided, you know what? This works so well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's work together more closely. So Gallop and Glory, aka Susie, became my sponsor. So for today, she is very kindly... Oh. <laughs> Dan says I'm done. Are you bored? I'm out. <laughs> She's very kindly giving one lucky winner a bespoke box. So Gallop and Glory does amazing subscription boxes. You can sign up for these every month. They're £45 and they're always full of products worth a lot, lot more than that. And you get really nice stuff. Suze is amazing at picking out just really stunning, useful items. She also does gift boxes. So you can get like eventing ones, country ones, dressage ones. Anyone struggling with maybe a gift idea for like your mum, your friend, your brother, sister, get over to Gallop and Glory. They'll be packaged beautifully and you don't have to put any thought into it because Susie can do it all for you. Anyway, this is a bespoke box. I would like to point out this ribbon was tied so beautifully and I've been messaging Susie all morning and I can't recreate it. The bespoke boxes, Susie will get a little bit of information from you. You can go and fill in what you'd like. You know, you can put your color in, you can put your preference, like of discipline. You can put your blood type, your star sign, the name of your high school teacher. And she will take all of that information, mainly just the color and discipline and size one. And she will make you a box personalized for you so this is a black eventing one Woo. so in here we have got some really pretty cards these are by emily cole illustrations we've got a nice little grooming mitt here the softness is unreal also got a lovely hard brush they are incredible we've got some painted black naff hoof oil which arguably would be more professional than the hoofies when we go eventing, perhaps. Aww. We have got some really nice black socks, perfect for venting, nice and smart. And also the most gorgeous little notebook. Again, Emily Cole, oh, sorry, Jam. How beautiful is that? And a nice little tie up ring for when you're out eventing. So this is just a little example of the stuff you might get. Susie has literally like the biggest variety of things ever. Whether you've got a horse or not, there will be something for everyone. So thank you very much, Susie, for that prize. This is worldwide. Also, you're not just getting a box, you're getting jam. <laughs> jam. jam is off. You'll also be getting a Gallop and Glory number in gray, as you can see here. This is one of my favorite numbers. It is so nice, beautiful embroidery and super smart in that gray. So now all the prizes are sorted, I can finally get on. I can get Hobbit away from stroking that cat. First challenge is the horsey sack race. And I'm gonna get jam in a sack. 
but we'll see. Hi guys. <laughs> so we're going to start our challenges today with um, a dressing up sack race. Um, I didn't really have a pony to play with, so I'm going to do it on my feet and um, Meg's going to do it on jam. Oh, are you ready? Have so, you done your stretches? Are you warmed up? <laughs> oh no! The Christmas tree! Three, two, ah, uh, you stand still, Missy! One, go! That's a no! <laughs> right, got a skirt. Jeanette is definitely ahead at the moment. Meg hasn't got a single thing on. I've got a coat on and I've got this tight little thing. <laughs> you shouldn't have had those mince pies then. I'm oh. Oh. Right, <laughs> glasses. <laughs> oh, tactical around the pony instead of around Meg, okay. No rules against it. Oh, Jeanette. She's up! She's up! <laughs> Don't forget your candy cane! <laughs> oh, Jeanette, you lost your candy cane! You gotta pick that back up! Oh my god, Meg! What a lead! <laughs> oh, Chammy! Over the line! Everybody over the line! Okay, so I am the winner of that challenge. It was touch and go. Jam nearly face planted. <laughs> so the next challenge is going to be jumping the jump whilst holding a mince pie on a plate. Nice and festive. Anyone who doesn't know what a mince pie is, it's basically raisins wrapped in pastry. Mm -hmm. it's, it's actually tastier than you think. This is like a deconstructed one. This is essentially Tesco trying to be all like edgy. <laughs> so I'm going to hop back on jam. I'm hoping we won't face plant again. Mum, you're going to do it on foot again, aren't you? Yeah. You didn't fancy being on a horse, no. unsurprisingly. So who do you reckon is going to be able to keep that pie on the plate, guys? Comment down below. <laughs> okay, guys, so Mum's going first because she was the loser of the previous challenge. <laughs> Go ahead and hey, devour that. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least I've got less to lose. <laughs> so, right, just to show you guys, this is a slippery little weasel. Okay, you see that? And did you see the way Jam nearly fell over? <laughs> Stop okay. making excuses. I've never jumped Jam one handed before. Good reason. <laughs> <laughs> second roll, you'll be alright. <laughs> oh! I can't believe that. I can't believe that either. Right, put it up. <laughs> okay, so a draw for that challenge. Both of us managed to keep our mince pies on the plate. For the next challenge, we are seeking the help of lovely Galloping Glory yet again. But you'll notice, guys, that all of the goodies inside have gone and been replaced with snowballs. Ooh. How have these not melted yet? Pulled them from the range weeks ago and they're still as fuzzy as ever. For this one, I'm going to stay on jam. Mum's going to stay on foot. And the aim of the game, we've got five snowballs here, is going to be stand a set distance apart or away from the box and throw as many snowballs as you can into the box. Whoever gets the most in 
is the winner and therefore gets another point. <laughs> another point. No, missed that one. Another point. Another point. Another point. Another oh my God. Another point. Yay! Are you ready to rumble? I'm ready. Three, two, one, go! go. Pick him up off of the jump sheet. Oh no. over here looking very decrepit. She goes to throw one and overarm oh. and she misses another overarm. Again, the box, not me, Hobbit. Yes! yes! Now stay calm. Oh, yeah, you've let it get to you. Okay. Oh, yes! Two snowballs Woo! in the galloping glory box, guys. That is what I need to beat. Not on top bad. of Jamilie. Uh, hang on, hang on, I said go. I'm waiting. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Champion! If you drop any, you've got to get on and get back on again. Oh, oh God, it seems so far away. Okay. God, the ears. Right, I'm going to line it up between the ears. Oh, love it. <laughs> Two more. No pressure! Oh my god, hey. oh my god. Draw the best one is draw. The last one. <coughs> <laughs> yeah, it's still only a draw. You see that pressure? It does not get to me, apart from with the other three. <laughs> okay, we go into the fourth challenge, still with me ahead by just one point, guys. It's close, Isn't it's it close. Tense? Nom, nom, nom. Hey guys, winners cam here now. This next challenge is high jump between mum and I. Now, we've changed the poly jump poles because they're fabulous for horses, but if I run into those and catch my ankle on it, it's going to look painful. So, wrapping paper oh rolls. Honestly, sometimes the ideas that come into this little brain. So what we're going to do is just wed those together like so and that is going to be our pole now i don't want to sound too <laughs> quietly confident guys but i think i've probably got it in the bag for high jump against mum because we are doing this on foot i've got my stretchy gym leggings on and between you and me i am still currently the high jump champion record holder at my school year six so yeah here comes the winner one three one all right i jumped it like a horse like straight on it was epic How much room people still talk about it this day oh you need to so you can see our pole being made there we may have to reinforce with some tape we'll have to tape the key to winning to record breaking what are you stretching for you're filming that you stretch no i'm not oh georgie and i decided that uh I'd have a sub for this one. Welcome to my sub. Wait a minute, no. That's not fair. What's <laughs> not fair? fair? I'm here to level the playing field. Yay. She's a bit younger than you are. Yeah, I can tell. Quite Please a bit younger. younger. <laughs> how, uh, how big did you jump? I can't remember. Oh, convenient, that, isn't it? All right, I'm not even scared. I'm not even scared. <laughs> how low can you squat? How high can you jump? I can squat that low. Squat that low. <laughs> that low. This low. <laughs> yeah, well, that low. <laughs> See that? <laughs> I can do the crab walk. <laughs> right, let's go. We're so ready. Okay. Are we going to go with that jump? A very wonky jump. It's quite big actually to start with. Can you put it down? <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous. After you, go on. Okay. Trot on girls. Whee! And Georgie. Woo! See, that's okay. <laughs> it's easier. 
Right, we've gone so, up two holes here, guys. Do we know where we're currently at? We should have got a tape measure to measure oh, it. Would you like to do a little circle to warm up? I bet she would. <laughs> <laughs> When can we stop going up two holes? Because it's getting a bit big for my liking. Oh, come on, this one, three, one. What are we estimating that is? About 70? I'd say about 70 here, about 65 <laughs> there. Okay. I was going to say, like, 90. <laughs> Ladies first. Nice action. Oh, oh my God, I'm so much older than I used to be. Yeah. You've got a nice fine leg, girl. Thanks. <laughs> Squats. Up another two holes. Yeah. My knees hurt. My everything hurts. <laughs> I'm taking the coat off. I'm very glad I'm not doing this. God, I'm out of breath. <laughs> Can we just take a moment to look at what we're doing? Why are our hands like this? <laughs> Where do we right, go? go? Yeah, now! Go, go! Woo! Nicely done. I'm not very quick, what's good, Joe? I'm slow away from the fence. Ow! Hey! <laughs> Ow! Oh, the poor old person. Flashbacks to year six when I had so much ping and now I'm like I'm like <laughs> oh, oh. <Jesus> <laughs> how do you feel pain 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 is how I feel also the weight coming down is a lot more than it was when I was however old I'm telling that for real bad, Three. honestly <laughs> you can... okay young lady come on you Stop being rude to the other athletes. <laughs> Go for the long one! Oh, oh, my God. God. that was a long one! Jesus! I literally was like, do I hold or do I go? It's now pretty big. It's massive! It's massive. Joe, we're getting inside your head. It's, re right, it's, your turn. it's really good. big, Georgie. There's no way I'm clearing this. We need a pillow on landing. Georgie, Georgie, in it to win it. Oh, the coat's coming off. Woo. How many coats have you got on? <laughs> oh, that's the secret. <laughs> it is pretty chilly. That's a pretty healthy size upright, that, guys. It's practically an oxen. Look at the flipping dead yeah, that line. Is, it's an ascending oxen. That's a that. wider fright than that one, right? <laughs> no, it doesn't make any off. difference, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, God, <laughs> the suspense. for you year six <laughs> champion <laughs> next challenge <laughs> i'm sorry jeanette i'm oh, sorry i'll go home i forgive you right care to explain next challenge involves the two-year-olds we are doing two-year-old racing now you might be thinking that does not sound good for their joints it's not the fastest well it kind of is the fastest yeah. but behind georgie behind you guys there is an assault course <laughs> To weave these two year olds between. So, this is Brinny, who I have here, aka the short straw. She's smaller and sassier. I don't know how I've ended up with her. 
and mum has got Winnie who is bigger but also slower. She's like a whale. <laughs> so they've each got their disadvantages. The aim of the game is to weave in and out of the obstacles. These ponies have never seen these before so it could be entertaining. Come back down the middle, go through your jump with the poles again. Never been over poles, looking forward to that. And then race back <laughs> and cross your finish line. Are you going to count us down, G? Oh, I need to turn my butt on. <laughs> <laughs> my butt! <laughs> right, ready, go! I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking! <laughs> ready? Three, two, one, go! Oh, that's a quick start for Meg! <laughs> Winnie's taking a gentle stroll. Meg's legs working quicker than Brinny's. She has a firm advantage. Now for the scary bit. <laughs> Over the scary poles for the first time. <laughs> We've picked up speed. Winnie's through quicker actually. But that's definitely a winner. <laughs> How's the bars work out for you? I can't quite believe it. <laughs> it moved. Oh my God. Everyone's so scared of it. <laughs> Like racing. Would you but blame your partner? She's very sensible. Only a poor horse woman blames her I horse. <laughs> she just wants cuddles. I was just trying to keep arm's length from Brinny. I was, just, I was right at the end of the road, like, come on. We didn't understand what was the yeah, plot. It's so good. <laughs> right, we're about hazard has me on four points and you on two with just two challenges left. The best you can do is draw. We are doing, can you guess which pony? you are feeling whilst blindfolded. A little throwback to Vlogmas 2019. Shout out to those of you that are watching. So, we're gonna have a little blindfold on. One of us is gonna spin the other around multiple times and then guide them to a pony, entice the pony to have the head over the door. I say, he's a bit guided about not being involved in this. And then the other person has a few seconds to feel the head and then say which pony it is. You get a point if you guess the right pony and you get a slap in the face if you get a <laughs> <laughs> Nah, you just don't get a point. Right, do you want to go first or me to yeah, go first? Yeah, you want to go first? Okay. Oh, see a thing. Okay, firstly, you look great. Ready? Why I'm spinning around. Get out of my way. way. You know I like it because... Come on, spin a bit faster. Now spin. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not spin. No, I'm not spinning. Just one more spin for me this way. You'll undo the dizziness. Right, okay. Undo the dizziness. Okay. I am dizzy. Okay, right, okay. Right, I'm going to walk you forward and we're going to go, okay, over here. Okay, right, you're nearly at the nose. Mum, stop making me push. <laughs> right, very gently. Okay, right, there's a nose there. Okay, right, see? I'm scared of getting pushed. Five, four, three, two, one. Don't fill the door. <laughs> so I was naughty. Right, what pony? Let's your there? time up. Oh, get your grubby little mitts off that pony. <laughs> I don't know. Um. <laughs> I don't think it's Jack. Four hours later. So much for the few right. seconds. Right. Okay, okay, I'm going to go for Dora. Is that your final answer? <laughs> or Ari. <laughs> I'm going to need you to say you won. Dora. Okay, right. So will you turn this way and you explain why you think this poor pony feels like Dora? <laughs> Was the giveaway? Why didn't you make me feel it? You, you, were, <laughs> you, you were too busy feeling the door to feel for the fork. <laughs> I knew what she was doing. She was trying to find the number. I thought that was what it was. Oh, I 
it was. I was just trying to kill where I was. Lily. Oh, sorry, Mel. And she's got a trimmed beard. Well, that was no yeah. mood. No point yeah. for mum. Lacerates your eye. It's horrible. Uh, oh, you're you a bad bad <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, oh my god, okay, this is not a nice feeling. Ah. Oh, 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 look at your body. Oh, like, <laughs> like, oh my god, it's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm saved you, Meg. <laughs> Because you're not as schmoopy. I'm gonna go for Dora. Final answer? Oh, I don't know, because Dora's only kissed me this much. Five. The nostrils are quite tight. Four. And you've got Wait, no, three. No, it's not. I know who it is. It's Winnie. It's Winnie. <laughs> you're right. Yeah. How on earth did I end up here? <laughs> Oh wow, that came to me right at the end. I was like, "Those the yeah. face is too slender to be Dora." Oh, well done. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Don't listen, Dora. You're not fat. No, but it was like Winnie's got a very long face. Jeez, that was terrifying. Right, so Mum is trying to claw back a point here. Right, so I'm just gonna need you to spin round at this leisurely pace. Who speeds up a little bit? <laughs> the scary one. Right, nose. And have some lovely time. Learning from her mistakes. Yeah. Right, Mum, we are going to have to hurry you. It's In a this. Fluffy one. I'd go for a two handed feel if I were you. Make the motor. Oh! Final challenge, and this one is inspired by what Mum and I play in the mornings on the radio. It's a game called Don't Panic, but we're changing it to Don't Spook because it's a horsey interpretation, or at least my questions are. So, the way it works is our quiz master here, beautiful Georgie, has got a list of five questions that I made and also a letter. So, she needs to tell Mum what the letter is be anyone from the alphabet and then she's going to ask the questions mum has to answer as quick as she can with something beginning with that letter mum has also done some questions for me everyone understand you've got your little helper there yeah i understand oh my god <laughs> got your little headlock <laughs> okay right are we all good and the way you can win is we're gonna time each other whoever gets the fastest time is not just the winner of the challenge but the winner of 2020, Ooh. this entire vlogmas series, the, the winner of life, you could say. Okay, guys, 
Okay. Let's go. Fine. Is B. B. B for Bertie. Yeah. That's okay. Okay. Right. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Okay. Right. Are you ready. All oh, my hands are too cold. Okay. Three, Three two, one, go. One of our horses. Brinny. A famous horse, Charles. Badminton. A horse colour. Bay. Something you wear riding. Back protector. Something you eat at a show. Bay and roll. Oh! Nice. 12.06. You're stood outside Brinny and you were like... I know! I was like... <laughs> Eight, yeah, I was like, Brinny, I bear? I quicker. <laughs> it's because they're distracting me because they're all hungry. Okay, okay, to be fair, not too bad. 12.06. You wouldn't have won the smart speaker on the radio game, but it's it's a valiant effort. I'll give you that, Mum. Okay. Right, so mine were all horsey questions. These are ones that Mum made, and are they Christmassy themed, Mum? They are. Oh, Christmas themed. My heart's And you have 12 sense. seconds to beat. 12.06. 12.06. And do I beat. start the timing once you start the first question? When did you start? So you go the three, timer? two, one, go, and then and I'll start press the timer. Yeah, okay, do you want, you want to tell. Speaking? Maybe the letter. Your letter is the letter D. D. Okay. okay. Three, two, Dave. one. Go. One of the year. December. One of Santa's reindeer. Dancer. A musical oh. instrument. Drum. An animal to do with Xmas. Deer. Something you may have on a tree. A decoration. Deer. Oh, well I'm not having deer. Oh. That's excluded. Deer's not to rain. Oh yeah, but reindeer doesn't even yeah. pay. Six, nine, eighty-eight. But it. It was, God, it that was, was quick. It was then. quick. That was rapid. I didn't think it was going to be that quick. You would have won the smart speaker. Wait, right, we know what you're doing tomorrow morning. Oh, no, smart speaker. <laughs> I just won the, I've won the vlogmas. Oh, challenge. yeah, you won the whole thing. Right, well, that's not important. Dang. Moving on. Yeah. We lost. Okay, guys, we are back inside and finally warmed up. We have come to quickly debrief. Mum, I believe you've written a short although how could you keep it short speech on my winning well, you did very well but I put up a good fight and a bit of training a bit of training for next year I reckon I'll have you next year really Maybe. in the 2021 vlogmas games I want to just remind you guys about the giveaways quickly so of course we have our gallop and glory bespoke box it will be filled to the brim with snowballs. Oh, Pippin did not like that. No, it will be filled with amazing, lovely gifts, all bespoke to whoever wins it. So make sure you enter this giveaway on the Instagram. On the Instagram? The Instagram. God, that makes me sound like a... Sound like me. Yeah. An old person. <laughs> enter it on the Instagram. And of course, the raffle prize is the lovely... lovely... Jacket. I love this jacket so much. I mean, it's, it's very, very festive nice. this time of year, but also the thing about a red jacket, I just feel like Ellen Whitaker. So it's got the lovely Union Jack on the front there. So this giveaway is UK only, I'm afraid, guys, but still head over to the raffle post and get entering that. I will pick a winner later on this evening. Anyway, I've got a bottle of bubbly Ooh, with good. my name on it. Thank you, Pippin. <laughs> Pippin's like, drink responsibly. <laughs> oh, you've caught me thank you massive thank you for watching and quickly before we go mum and i want to say a little shout out slash thank you to a lovely lady called jackie hi jackie <laughs> i got a message this morning from a lovely girl called libby saying now this was a bit of role reversal really because often it's mum messaging me saying oh my daughter or my son's a big fan of your channel yada 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 but today it was Libby messaging saying her mum's a big fan of the channel and she's just beaten cancer she's just kicked cancer well in done. the bum and that's amazing Jackie we're so proud of you Libby's so proud of you and we wanted to say a big big thank you for watching and also say a little hello to Doris your pony and we love the name Doris I'm, I was literally just about to say that I was like <laughs> if we ever breed a filly I kind of want to call it Doris because that's so cute if Dora had a filly Dora and Doris stop <laughs> it oh my goodness anyway well done Jackie that's fantastic news yes and we wish you and all the family a very merry Christmas and a very healthy new year yeah healthy and happy absolutely anyway thank you everybody for watching we really do appreciate it and we will see you in two days time good boy i'm gonna Bye. pop this but away from pippin because he will go crazy all right live love love you bye guys bye